Hi guys, it's Timmy from Crowdlace. Uh, this week what we're going to do is um, probably make up a cake topper. Okay, so we're going to get back into it here now. Uh, so what we'll do is move across onto Corel Draw and we're going to open up a new document and our new document we're going to label that to be just uh, something simple like cake topper and what we're doing is we're leaving this setting here for the ray jet which is going to be 457 by 305 millimeters and that's the size of my laser bed uh, so what I'm going to do there is we just want to make sure the rendering is also on RGB and 300 dpi so we just press OK now we just select the text tool and we'll just write something else like uh, uh, what could we call it to be what sort of a cake topper should we make um, we might even just say happy oh, we won't do that and then we'll just do a birthday just make it a birthday cake topper and make it nice and simple bring this text out a little bit bigger and what we'll do is we'll choose a font when this here loads up and we could choose uh, looking through for some font and what's something that's going to be What's this one here like? We'll do something like this freehand one here. Uh, we could choose that one or no, we'll do that bottom one. Do the same font for this birthday. When it loads up, there we go. Now, we want to make the font size. We'll make them both pretty well similar. So we'll make them 100. And we'll make that 100. And then, zoom in on this and we'll change we'll move this over just finding a spot where it's gonna look the nicest it's a little bit hard to work with this one what I might do is just increase the size of that one just a little bit just so it reaches where I want it to oh, it's got the letters a little bit separate up there as well so because this one has separate letters, we might start off by moving this B in. So just go to our object properties and move it in a tiny bit like this. And then we'll do the same thing with the H. Do the P's and the Y's. And then the Y. Go. Now we've got everything touching each other because we need it touching so that way it ends up. Uh, what we do is we need it touching so that way we don't get any of the uh, letters falling off or anything like that. We need it to be all stuck together so it's one little cake topper. Okay, so what we'll do now is I'd say that'll probably be okay there like that. And we could even just move it down a tiny bit just so. It, it's a little bit more gap in the side over there and then I say most of our letters are right so what we've got to do is just check that the size is where we want it so that's only 66 mil wide so we want to get it to at least 150 and then that way move it right up to 150 and then that way it's big enough for a, probably about a six inch cake uh, so now it's at that size, we want to check out the thinnest little gaps here. Um, probably this one over here. And we'll see what kind of sizes we're looking at here at about that. So if we estimate that to be about there somewhere. 2.6 mils, that's plenty big enough. So what we're actually looking for is we want the thickness of the wood 
um, which is going to be probably three mil, or if we use acrylic or something like that, uh, we're going to, it's going to be around the three mil. So we need the thickness of the lettering or the thinnest part of those lettering to be at least that thickness, or could be a little bit less. So if it's going to be three mil uh, wood, we want it to be um, at least probably two mil, maybe two and a half would be a bit better. But if we can get it to be the same thickness as the wood, so it'd be three mil uh, wide on the smallest parts, uh, that will be the best. So that's close enough there. We'll grab that off of that and get rid of that. So that's good enough. So if it wasn't, what we do is we just want to add a little bit of a contour, but we don't need to on this one. And then now we just add a little spike and our spike, what we're going to do is make sure that that's not selected so we can individually move these. We want this one to be five mil wide and about 60 mil high, so which is about right there. Now, right click on this, oops, right click on that and uh, convert to curves. And then that way we select this tool, move it up about halfway there somewhere and just put a dot there and one there, oops, we move that up just a tiny bit. About there, we do this in about the middle somewhere. Delete that one, and then delete that one. And then, you can grab this, grab that one, press C to center it, and it's gonna be off from that H a tiny bit. So which way do we wanna go? We might move it. We might move it slightly under the tall part of the H and because it's got on there we just double click it so that way it grabs that tool there again and we'll press shift as we move this dot up so that way it holds it in place there and that moves it up that little bit further now we can just select all and we might just group it first so we'll weld them together and then we'll uh, left click on that one to eliminate the fill and then right click on this red. So what I've done is I've selected some uh, colors here, which is gonna be the black for uh, engraving. We've got red for cutting. So the red is on cut and we wanna make sure it's on hairline because any of these other uh, measurements here, they, what they're gonna, or thicknesses here, what they're gonna do is the laser's just gonna try and uh, engrave it. So we need to make sure it's hairline, so it wants to follow the line around, which will cut it out. Now, we just need to go in here, um, and this is pretty well everything stuck together all nicely, except for that dot there. So what we need to do is double click on here, so it brings up this tool again, and select, if we can, all of those dots there. Bring them straight down, just go just underneath, that we might move it up just a tiny bit and then we've already got one there so we just double click there just there and just there and then that way we can delete that wire that one that one and that one join this one up and using this join tool up here and then join those two together and there we go we've got all that together And that's it, that's ready to cut. So thank you very much for that. And uh, if you like it, please subscribe to us. And if you want to uh, comment or got any other questions about our process or anything, how, you, how we do that, uh, just um, write it in the comments below. All right, thank you.